Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. We're going to be working with grade three mathematics. Grade three mathematics, we're going to be on page 104. So if you've got your workbook in front of you, please turn over to page 104. And if not, you're welcome just to look behind me. The worksheet is going to be in front of you regardless. All right. So we're going to be learning how to multiply by tens today. Okay. How do we multiply by tens? All right. So let's try to do an example to show, show us how to do that. Uh, how to multiply by tens. All right, multiply by tens. All right. So there are a, a couple of ways to go around this. So if you have seven to six, multiply by ten. Um, at the back of your mind, you can just say, well, so long as it's a ten, you can say, well, this is going to be seven, six, zero. All right. It's pretty easy like that. Now, it's not going to be pretty straightforward if you were to say 7 to 6 multiplied by 20. But if you have a problem like 7 to 6 multiplied by 10, you want to save your, save your breath a little bit, just go ahead and call that a 760. Or maybe 7 to 5 multiplied by 100. Well, guess what? That's going to be 7500. Zero, zero. So if it is a 1 that is over here and you have two zeros or one zero or three zeros in front of it, write that number and add the zeros to the end of it and that's going to be your answer but that's a quick short short way to do it but the real way to do it is to arrange it in terms of your place values and then you're going to separate it into the digits just like this so you're going to say 76 multiplied by 10 okay so let's try to do this you're going to start with the first digit to the right you're going to say zero times six that's a zero zero times seven well that's a zero as well then you're going to come over here you're going to say one times six well that's a six one times seven well that's going to be a seven so potentially there's going to be another column over here then you're going to add all this together you're going to say zero plus nothing that's a zero 0 plus 6, that's a 6, and then 0 plus 7, that is a 7, and that gives you 760. Now, this method over here, this is method 1, method 2, is a, is a sure way, <laughs> this is a sure way to make sure you don't make mistakes, okay? Because if they were to tell you, then what is 7 to 6 multiplied by 20? Well, you can't do it easily just like you can do it 7 to 6 multiplied by 10. You're going to have to break it down into, guess what, place values. So you're going to go like this. 0 times 6, that's a 0. 0 times 7, that's a 0. 2 times 6, what's that? That's 12. But write, you, 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 you write 1, and then you carry, you write 2, and you carry your 1 over here, right? 2 times 7, well, that's going to be, 2 times 6 is 12, right? 2 times 7, well, that is going to be 14, but then 14 plus 1, that's going to be 15. So you write your 15 over here, and then you carry your 1 over here, and then 2 multiplied by 0 is 0 plus 1, and that's going to be 1 for you. So you're going to have everything added together. You're going to have your 0, 2, 5, five very well five and one so that's one thousand to one thousand five hundred and twenty pretty easy all right so that's how you can multiply by tens there's a shortcut there's a shortcut right in here if you have just tens or one hundreds but if you have something bigger than that and these are still multiples of tens as well like 20 like 30 please make sure you do it in a standard standard way just like this Okay, all right, so there are exercises on page number 104 and 105. There's a homework there for you as well, so please make sure you do those. 
so you can master how to multiply by tens. All right. Well, that's what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me. And remember to recite your morality creed. And when I step aside a little bit, you're welcome to take a snapshot of the worksheet as well that's on the board behind me. Well, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend